In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. The 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time invites us to listen to God so that we all may live to satisfy our hunger, our spiritual hunger, emotional hunger, physical hunger, and material hunger. In every Eucharistic celebration, Jesus invites us to eat and drink with him. As he gives himself to us, how much have we given ourselves to others? Let us examine ourselves before the Lord. Lord Jesus, you are the bread that gives life to the world. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the bread that strengthens us on the journey of life. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the bread that gives us everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and Amen. on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their Creator and Guide, you may restore what you have created and keep saying what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the Holy, Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. You're reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast 
sure love for David. The word of the Lord and speak to God. You open your hand to feed us, Lord, and satisfy our needs. You open your hand to feed us, Lord, and satisfy our needs. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and His compassion is over all that He has made. You, you open your hand to feed us, Lord, and satisfy our needs. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, satisfying the desire of every living thing. You open your hand to feed us, Lord, and satisfy our needs. The Lord is just in all his ways, and kind in all his doings. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. You, you open your hand to feed us, Lord, and satisfy our needs. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship, our distress, our persecution, our famine, our nakedness, our peril, our soul? No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor death, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard that Herod had beheaded John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on the foot from the towns. When he went ashore, Jesus saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them and cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and the hour is now late. Send the crowds away, so that they may go into the villages 
and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, They need not to go away. You give them something to eat. They replied, We have nothing here but five loaves and two fish. And he said, Bring them here to me. Then Jesus ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. And all ate and were filled, and they took up what was left over of the broken pieces, twelve baskets full. And those who, are, those who ate were about five thousand men, besides women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In uh, one of his books, an author by the name Chuck Swindoll tells about a very interesting case that came before the courts in the state of Virginia back in the 1920s. It concerned a man who had been walking along the pier when suddenly he tripped over a rope and fell into the cold deep waters of the ocean bay. He came up sputtering, screaming for help, then sank beneath the surface. For some reason, he was unable to swim or stay afloat. His friends heard his faint cries in the distance, but they were too far away to rescue him. But within only a few yards, was a young man lounging on a deck chair sunbathing. Not only could the sunbather hear the drowning man plead, Help! I can't swim! He was also an excellent swimmer. But the tragedy is that he did nothing. He only turned his head to watch him differently as the man finally sank and dropped. The family of the victim was so upset, as you can imagine, by that display of extreme indifference that they sued the son did. The result, they lost the case. With a measure of reluctance, the court ruled that the man on the dock had no legal responsibility whatsoever to try to save the drowning man's life. Sisters and brothers, any one of us is capable of turning a deaf ear to the needs of those around us. Like the disciples in today's gospel, we can callously shrug our shoulders and say, let them take care of themselves, or let God care for them, or 
Why should I be bothered? However, God works through people who are responsive to God's leading. God works through you and me to reach out with love and compassion. Jesus said to his disciples in the gospel, you feed them. And as his disciples today, we can if we have the desire and the willpower to do so. In our beautiful second reading, St. Paul says, Nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. Nothing that exists today, including the COVID-19 pandemic, nor things yet to come, can take away God and God's love from our lives. And that love of God calls us to live in love each and every day. Now someone once said that as baptized Christians, too often we think that committing our lives to God is like taking a $100 bill and laying it on the altar saying, here is my life, God. I give it all to you. But the truth of the matter is that God sends us out to the bank and tells us to cash that $100 bill in for quarters. And then as we live our life, as we go through our life, we give away 25 cents here and 50 cents there and so on. Now, our parish community is rich in our loving service to the people, both locally and globally. So many dedicated volunteers regularly reach out through our food bank, our harvest kitchen, our hospital and senior home visitations, communion to the homebound, and many other parish ministries. We contribute so generously through our share admin and share land collections. Of course, a lot of these activities have been suspended because of COVID-19, but they are not forgotten. For they are all our response to Jesus' words in today's gospel. You give them something to eat. Sisters and brothers, today's gospel beautifully demonstrates that when we translate our care and compassion into positive action, the little that we are able to do is multiplied by God's grace in such a way that it becomes more than sufficient to respond to the needs of so many. In our first reading today, the prophet Isaiah invites us to come to the waters, to come to the Lord for refreshment, for nourishment. These days, we and our world thirst for that refreshment and nourishment. We would all love to be here in this church to celebrate this Eucharist together. And we look forward to that day with hope. Meanwhile, let us continue to pray for God's life and love to fill our hearts and make us His instruments of love and peace in our world. Amen.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all Christians, that we might truly appreciate how our spiritual, emotional, physical, a material hunger will always be satisfied when we place our trust in God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of St. Kevin Parish, that we may be nourished by our Eucharistic celebration and by our shared community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all providing essential services for us during this time of COVID-19 and with gratitude for their hard work, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of our parish who are ill, and for those who care for and nurture them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, and for all who are grieving the loss of a loved one, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayer intentions deep within our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, in trust and in confidence, we offer our personal prayers to you. Answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of your human hands, it will become our spiritual food. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, work of a human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, 
make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed, by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name, name of, of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Gerard our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, and Saint Kevin, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the, the power, power and the glory are yours now, now and forever lord jesus christ who said to the apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with all of you and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter my, my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Accompany with the constant protection, O Lord, those who you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son. and the holy spirit amen go for the mass is entered thanks be to god